So guys, once we get to this part, you wanna click on repair your computer, which will then take us to this screen. Another way to get here is to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it on again. Once your computer turns on again and you see the Windows loading screen, you wanna turn off your computer again and repeat this three times. So turn off your computer and then turn it on again. When you see the Windows loading screen, turn it off again and then turn it on again. Repeat this three times and then it'll take you into this screen. And now once you're on this, for the first method, you wanna click on troubleshoot and then you wanna click on start to repair. Click on this. It's gonna diagnose your PC, see if this fixes your problem. If that's still not working for the second method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then you wanna click on system restore. If you do not see system restore, you wanna click on see more recovery options, and then it should appear. So you wanna click on system restore. And now if you have a restore point, you can go back to it. So click on next, and then go back to your restore point. If you don't have it though, that's fine. You wanna click on cancel. And now for the next method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And now once you're in here, you wanna type in boot rec space forward slash fix MBR. Click on enter. And then you wanna type in boot rec space forward slash fix boot. Click on enter again. For me, it says access is denied, but in your case, it should be working. Now you wanna type in chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r space, and then the drive we have Windows installed on. Most likely it's gonna be your C drive, but if it's something else, then you wanna choose that. So I'm just going to type in C colon in my case, click on enter. And now you're going to wait for this to load. And now once that's been done, you're going to close this out. And then you're going to click on continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed. And if that doesn't work, then just restart your computer again from the power button.